One of the first things that we always do is pay attention to uh, our people, especially our chiefs, in respect of where all of this comes from, the art, the songs, the ceremony, protocol. And it's really important, you know, that uh, anything that we do, and you should know this, that the language is uh, the conveyor of whatever we want to do and what we need to do. And especially today, with uh, so many of our speakers gone within Heskwood, I think we only have eight left that speak and have a grasp of the language. So we pay respects to, to, uh, to our people, our chiefs, and our relatives. Nahatai, Nahatai Ayushums, Nahatai Ayushums, Ha Mipnish, Ha Mipnish Yakish Hatwil, Ha Mipnish Yakish, Echima Echim, Kokots Kwa Uts, Da Nosut. All of our people we pay attention to and pay respects to. A Omit Yakuimit, one's gone before us, our ancestors. So we rely on to uh, put together the new and composing very, very ancient songs and chants that, uh, that we may be able to draw on. Because we know as a people that this isn't ancient knowledge, it's always been here. Our neighbors forever refer to this as ancient knowledge, you know. It's always been here, our knowledge always has been here. So we pay attention to to our chiefs from this area here. As this is their home, this is their territory. I come from another place up farther up north, but we pay the deepest, deepest respect and the language is really, really important in whatever we do. And we need to, to uh, wrap our arms around that simply because where the art comes from is exactly what we're talking about, the language. Because when we look at uh, where this all comes from, if you want to go into and enter and go out from here, your inner self coaxed them. You know, you may look at what is important, and one day you hear that very, very different and strange sound, huma, huma, wa, wa, something way off in the distance is coming, something way off in the distance is making its way to give you something to leave you something. The grandmother, so important, ha e ho saya e nana nixo, grandparents, ha e ho saya e nana nixo, grandmother. We want you to come na ata. So when we talk about the art, the art really comes from, comes from the inner self of the, our language and our language is so, so important. And we need to get a grasp of that. And for me to uh, pass on whatever I have to my younger parts of the family or my associates and peers, because we have a saying, teach moop, how to survive. And that's how we survive. We make sure we pass on what we have left to the younger artists. I, being an, being an artist myself, I need to, to put forward and pass on whatever I have to the younger artists so they can be the keepers and up, upkeep the art, but also produce and compose new things for the future. It's important to understand where all, all of this comes from. You know, when you look at, you uh, 
Shrikshit, something shows itself. Nature, Koito Iknas, the whole of nature, the skies, the mountains, the land, the sea, everything, everything. That's where the art comes from. So when you, uh, when you think about uh, our grandparents as to the headdresses and whatever they had, you know, in ceremony, and also in celebration, but also in mourning. There are those great, great pieces of uh, you know, art that they bring out, you know, for, uh, for ceremony with headdresses, hochluchsum, headdress up here, hochuma over the face, kuchman. And I think what is really important today is to really focus really on one area of what just about the art because it's so big it's so immense and you won't know that because you don't see through our eyes the rattle itself as to where that comes from we know mamati that little bird that's always behind us will one day begin to speak to you and tell you what you can use, what you have, the chant that you can use, the tzikrik, the tzikha, that you, uh, you can use, the pieces of art that you can produce, you know, for headdresses and for masks. It tells you all this, but that's that little bird mama tip behind you. You will never ever look back to see who he is or what it is but he will speak to you. So it's not a small thing when you begin talking about the art and as to where it comes from and, and what is ours as the New Challenge people in the way of uh, you, uh, those things that uh, your uh, neighbors look at in, in dimension or size or, or decoration or design. You know, that's, uh, it comes all from, from, uh, from nature the whole of nature. You become a part of it when you go in to those, into those rivers and those mountains and those, those hills that you prepare yourself to uh, what you're going to produce. And we always want to you know, ask for good things and say, say the right thing and always do the right thing. So you want to uh, always pay attention to how you ask and what you what you ask for. It's almost like begging, you know, give me good things, give me the right things to say. So we as artists and, and myself in particular, I wanted to always pay attention to that I have the greatest respect for every artist. Doesn't matter where they come from or who they are. Cha Chumasa. I highly, highly respect what you're doing because you're keeping something you're alive, you're adding to it, you're bringing it forward, you're using it, you're singing it. So every artist in our community is really, really important, very important. And you have to have that Respect in place, Cha Chumasa. I highly, highly respect what you're doing. That's with any given artist, because we've worked with neighbors, not only from our area here in New Chalice, but, but certainly with uh, our neighbors as Mamakli, our neighbors as someone else being from somewhere else other than our area that add to and give us what we need to move forward and help us with the language and programming. Because life today is all about developing and pro programs that are developed for, for language, for the art, for, for everything that we do. But my life was always about uh, doing the art so I can make people feel good. I want to uh, make people happy, and I've done that. 
in my entire life. And so that real sense of uh, upbringing, you know, from grandparents, you know, when you ask, you know, to always say the right thing and do the right thing, you know, is the, uh, is so you can pass on with good feeling and goodwill. And this is where I think it's uh, important, you know, to recognize that people who are never afraid to ask, that's who you have the highest, highest respect for, is that people who come forward and always ask. So it's why I'm here and it's where we connect You know, that I need to pass something on to the younger parts of our family and our people and those especially who are connected to, to the art, but the art has to be collect, connected to, the, uh, to that, uh, that whole area of language because that's essentially where it, it, it all, all comes from. So I, I really needed to say that because uh, if, uh, if we don't have in place Cha Chumasa, the fruit of our cultural teaching, I highly respect what you're doing, you know. We begin to, to ignore one another. We begin to pick each other apart. No, we should be here to help each other because I learn very well in amongst young people when they give me something it's very 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 well earned lessons from young people as well it's not only I that pass on and give them something to learn for the day but uh, younger parts of the family certainly you know, give as much as I give and it, it's one of those things that you need to understand that the greatest art of all is the art of giving in any, any, in any universe, anywhere, the art of giving has to be put back in place within our, within our families up and down the coast. That's the most important art of all, the art of giving. Joe, do you have any questions? Yeah. I'll respond to it. Yeah. Um, cool. I, I feel always very fortunate that, that you moved here, that you moved to Tshishat. Um, you and Monica, and uh, I've been fortunate enough to be around your creations over the years of, you know, big pieces were the first real introduction of uh, you, you wanting to acknowledge our roots. And it was just a real eye-opener. It really, really fueled the fire of me wanting to create in, in wood, because at that time I was only working in precious metal. and. I'm really, really thankful, um, you know, all these years now that I've been able to work on totem poles and, and, uh, and then just, you know, sometimes you've, you know, seen you working on panels and your, your pieces are always, they're always pulled from what you've shared with me, pulled from your roots, from our roots, and I'm always really, really excited about is that it's, always um, or so many times so often that it's not what people have seen it's not what they refer to as traditional in a sense and you know that's because they don't know our tradition and that's you putting it out there and informing the viewers of just giving them a glimpse of how rich our culture is so that's that's why I, I asked for you to to be here today and you know and then I'm always thankful when you do stop by or if I'm able to stop by and it's uh, wanting to have I guess um, wanting to try and have an understanding more of our visual signature as new channels because that's one thing that when people ask like like I was sharing with you before if I if I've been in a place and I, I see your piece across a room that's 15, 20 feet away and I'm, oh, that's Tim Paul, that's, that's my mentor, that's my teacher. And someone who doesn't know, 
they go, well, how do you know it's Tim's? And I try to describe your visual signatures. For me, it's difficult because a lot of times it's the feeling of it as well that I'm picking up and that I know. Um, but to try and put it into words has been a, a challenge um, for myself to explain someone who isn't informed, who isn't a student or a, or a fan. That's really, really, really important. I think one of the things that I, I've uh, gotten over, over the years, and especially being with Uncle Mo, who was uh, my granduncle, He'd sit with me in the shop like this, and I'd be so close to finishing, he'd sit there all day and we'd talk and go through, and he'd say, well, Timmer, you're close to finishing now. It's almost finished. It's alive and you can talk to it. So I'm going to go inside. It's that area when our younger artists are able to, to sort of put that in and, and, and capture that uh, sense of that you have to put your whole self into to what you're doing for a purpose. You make it come alive, and it's just like Uncle Mo said, you know, you're near finished now, it's alive, and you can talk to it, you know, so. So there's, there's where we want to be in, in the way of, uh, of designs, you know, uh, you know, when you look in, you know, uh, going into, uh, into nature, that river or uphill, you know, when you look at geometric designs as to what uh, is used, you know, oftentimes in, in our new channel of art, you know, you look at uh, you look at those rivers, or you look at the uh, you know the trees and how they how they uh, curl and how they uh, you uh, move back, or you know how how things are how things are split, or how you know how there's a difference in between you know black and uh, you uh, a shadow, you know it was. Uh, you know, everything was taken from, you know, uh, from there. But it's you, you, you have to be able to, uh, to uh, really immerse yourself in in uh, putting your uh, inner self, you know, uh, to uh, put out, you know, what we know as how a quick to kill, the power to go out there and seek. And you see, you see different things, and it's the, uh, and it's that little bird. It's your your grandparents, you know, your your Aumet Yakwimet ancestors gone before us. All of those that are, you know, that are um, that are gone, but you still can call on them to uh, to uh, whatever whatever you want, whatever you need. You know that comes. You know, and, and people, people talk about vision, vision, vision. You know, this goes in here. Everything goes in here. You know, and it's, uh, you know, it's. You know, some people will will continue, and oftentimes, you know, talk about those visions. But uh, you know, your 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 everything, the ancestors, the grandparents, the feeling. You know ingrains it instills you know if if you go out and prepare yourself you know you're go you're going out for a purpose and that purpose is to uh, to uh, you go out and uh, you uh, look for seek that good feeling goodwill that inspiration you know and that's uh, that's the sounds you know of uh, birds that's the sound of those animals, that's the sounds of the forest and the leaves, you know, uh, you know, that's the uh, tree, you know, that, uh, you know, when they begin speaking, speaking to you, you know, it's the, uh, you can go a long, long way, this here, your inner self can go out, you know, and you go and seek and you see many, many different things. It's something that, uh, you know, what, what is new channel, what, what we know, and this is strictly family cultural teaching. And it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, other areas and people will say, well, gee, Gord, that's not the way it is. And no, no, I just said this is strictly family cultural teaching. So, 
So that's what is, you know, uh, very individual. It's, uh, you know, the family and it's what we know and it's what we have. But uh, today we really need to pass that down and we need to pass pass that on simply because it's what uh, very little what we have left, you know. Mm. But we need to save what we have, you know, uh, save what we have and that's, you know, and, and, and what we have left is, is we look at it seriously, it's a lot of it is gone, you know. But, uh, you know, it's it's preparation, it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, you go out and you uh, prepare yourself to uh, go the distance, you know, with, uh, you know, uh, what you're seeking, because oftentimes, you know, uh, some very, very young people will come to me and say, I need to know this, I need to, and bingo, it's, just, it's exactly what I need, and boom, they're gone. You know, they, you got to go the distance, you, you know, this whole sort of cultural teaching is, is never ending, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the, uh, you know, I think one of the, one of the things that George Louis said to me, who was a linguist from a house and a very, very respected man in, in a house, but also Uvic and, and that whole Victoria area, he said, you know, you know, Tim, he said, I, I'll tell you why I respect you so much. He said, you're never afraid to ask. I mean, that's part of the problem, you know, with, uh, you know, where you see this whole mixture of, you know, uh, our young artists maybe going into other areas. And I think the most important part of, of the art today, what we have today, what we have left, you know, is to, uh, to uh, create, you know, create your own, innovate, take it to, uh, to uh, what, uh, what your understanding as to, uh, to uh, what that river is, you know, you know, it's, you know, it's a, one of the things that, uh, I was asked at one time. I did a did a river mask, you know, uh, you know, and I said, "Well, when did you guys get river masks?" You know, well, it's it's something that I I, I love rivers. I love going out, and it's just that listen to the to the uh, you know the, the tumble of the water, the the white water, the you know everything, you know, the smooth, you know. Uh, glass, you know, almost a mirror effect when you look into the, into the waters and the rivers, you know, it's, you know, how, and it's see, that river is calling God, that river is inviting me, you know, so, uh, so you take from that and you produce and carve, you know, uh, with feeling, with what that river is saying to you, how, and it's tsa'akasi. The river is inviting me; it's calling me. So, uh, so those are the things you know that uh, you know uh, you know the, the art has to come from today. Is what we have left in nature as well, because a lot of it is gone. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the uh, so we got uh, you know a lot of a lot of uh, work to do in, in the way of uh, you uh, answering to uh, what we got left and how we can you know. Uh, you uh, participate in making sure that we uh, make a statement as to what uh, what we what we don't agree with, what's being extracted and what's being taken out, or what's what's already gone. You know, it's the uh, you know the uh, you know if we look at that uh, sculpture piece I did, you know, many many years ago, is, is when sports fishermen and everybody, commercial fishermen, are asking where is the parent stream or where are migratory salmon. Where are the migratory salmon? They, then they blame us. They blame you. You're food fishing. You know you're you're wasting. You know and they, you're dumping fish. You know and on and on. Well, yeah. So I did this sculptural piece. You know with the salmon and that cycle, that moon cycle. And you look at uh, producing something. You know to uh, to say to to our neighbors in and around. You know, you know, you, you never should, you never have to ask where the migratory salmon is. You know, my question to you is, where is that parent stream? You know, they were, they were destroyed, they were, you know, plugged, you know, they were, you know, uh, many things, you know. A lot of those rivers on Vancouver Island, where I grew up, were, were no longer there, you know, after, uh, you know, years and years of uh, logging and dump sites being built over them, you know, so it's the, uh, 
So it's you know that. Uh, so you, for you, the younger artists today, you know, it's it's their job now to take take uh, take it all on and, and look at uh, look at what's in nature, what's left, and uh, you know the many changes and uh, you know. But along with that, you know, has to uh, come the names and the songs and the roots, you know. Muthmums is very important, you know, it's got to have a home, it's got to come from somewhere, it's got to have roots, you know. I mean, let's quit talking about a family tree, it's Muthmums, Muthmums never disappear, but that tree does, you know, so so that's the, uh, you know, uh, those are the things I think that uh, that we need to, uh, to uh, look at, but, you know, it's, uh, one has to really define his own, uh, his own style, her style, design-wise, artists should really understand and know design and develop their own, develop their own style, develop their, you know, uh, own, their very, very own, which, which comes from here, you know, so that's the, uh, you know, that's the whole art in itself, you know, so that uh, it, it comes, you know, uh, you know, from that, Power within ha akwech oshdaku. You know, and that's the ha hope chumas. This here is just an introduction. It's just a, a piece of knowledge. You know, ha hope chumas. You know, just a very small piece of knowledge, you know. You know, it's uh, so I always really like to say I never ever am comfortable in. You know, people, people are referring to me as a master artist. No, it's a, I may be an authority in one area, you know, uh, just an authority in a small area because this whole art of ours is so big. So I'm never going to be able to master all of it. So that's the, uh, but I guess uh, being part of this whole sort of, you know, uh, production of art and, uh, you know, uh, not only for commercial, but also for ceremonial and, you know, uh, purposes, you know, it's, uh, it's always key to, to all of that in making sure what my grandfather, Joe Smith, always said, now, Timber, you got to be straight, honest, and humble, you know, so I tried to live by that, you know, even though at times it was hard, you know, you know, it's just like, you know, uh, you know, something that you, uh, you have to uh, you have to live by you know so it's the uh, so as to where the art comes from I think you know uh, I'll mm -hmm. open this up and take that uh, hidden Keats rat out where my grandmother got uh, her headdresses you know the you know where okay where my grandmother got her her headdress. Okay, was the uh, you know you, you go out to see sea serpents are very very much alive and as to how Alice Paul described you know is that sea serpent come out of the water and this just the way they move just around and around just like the dancers do but it was just that they showed you how to perform they showed you how to, to uh, dance but this one here my grandmother what she had was a headdress like this. But this killer wheel came from up the back and jumped, so you see this, and this little killer wheel jumps out. So that's the, uh, it's unfinished, but it's, uh, but, uh, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's important, you know, to, uh, to know that uh, it's, you know, where it comes from, yeah, how did you get that, you know, and it's the, uh, our people witnessed those. Mm -hmm. Sea serpents coming out, you know, they witnessed, you know, uh, going into the forest and uh, you, uh, you uh, watching transformations, you know, and uh, the raven was always a big part, you know, of, you know, along with the frog, you know, which is, uh, you know, uh, really, really important because, you know, uh, what, uh, what these rattles are, you know, uh, all about is is, is uh, to begin, and when you start doing something, you know, it's uh, it's like 
From the beginning, and I think you know when we when we talk about the beginning for us, you know, I, I really you know I am sensitive about uh, you know sometimes how things are said. You know, uh, English is a uh, you know, uh, tough language, I know, but uh, you know when, when when our own people, my own relatives, get up and say time and immemorial, you know, it sounds real biblical to me. You know, sounds. <laughs> Ikhmud, the beginning, that's the beginning for us mm -hmm. from way back. And, and this, you know, Qo'oshin, Ai Qo'oshin, the first man, that's Ikhmud, A'mehaya, that first woman, with Qayyid Zayt Dakhum, you know, that's, uh, that's the beginning, you know, not time and immemorial, you know. Ikhmud, the beginning, the very first, the first, you know. That's what it is. So, so it's the, uh, but that is something my grandmother, you know, had. She had two headdresses, you know, and, and many other things that, uh, you know, she had that, uh, you know, in the way of birds, headdresses, Bach said. You know. And I, yeah, and what, what I'm, what I'm always, um, studying about ours what i what i've been learning and and trying to pay attention to is is this how this soft and just like you talk about nature the water movement uh, these are pulled from but then there's the it's you know sometimes they're symmetrical in the shape and then it's an asymmetrical design mm -hmm. but it's just for for our region that i've been really trying to pay attention to is the the soft oval shapes, soft U shapes, and then you go to the harder, you know, these harder um, bars or, or uh, geometrics in the in the design that still makes it flow, but it's it's a hard line mm. which you don't see. At least for me, when I've been looking at other artists from different regions. So that's very much a signature, and that's what I'm trying to um, pay attention more to, and and study and. The, when you look at sort of geometric, you say sometimes you get this bar and this L, and you almost like you got uh, almost a doorway or a window or an opening, mm -hmm. you know, porthole or or whatever. You know, let's see. Um, so when we talk about nature and as to where geometric designs come in, you know, and if you go out, you know, and then, you know, it's, it's something only you can, only you can feel, only you can tell. So you walk into an area and you feel something. So you want to enter, it's what we call dashi, that doorway. And it's, it's like that, it's just like your window. And that's, that's where I have to go through, dashi, that doorway. To the other dimension, and the doorway of nature, the doorway, you know, in the from the ocean, the skies, the land, you know. It's a, and I guess that, you know, as science and today, the portholes are a big thing with them today. You know. yes. They're uh, over steady and it's being uh, you know, steady to death, you know, portholes. But we know that it's like that special race of people from out there, you know. Uh, you know, came. I mean, that's what they're. That's what they're raising. The whole, you know, sort of thing about, uh, you know, where that, where that, you know, uh, came from. You know, Tukwana, mm -hmm. Tukwana. You know, that's where that comes from. Quiet say Tukul. And so the, uh, so does Quiet say Kwaikum, that giant spirit of wolf that lives, you know, up there and shows itself every now and then. So it's the uh, so that's where the uh, you know I'm, I really want to begin stressing and it's really important you know that the, the, the language has is 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 married to all this you you can't separate that you know and that's if we're going to go anywhere 
you know, with, with our younger artists, you know, it's, you know, the language has to be a part, you know, of what we're doing. It's got to be the conveyor of whatever we want to do and whatever we want to say. So, so that's, the, uh, that's, that's really, really important. So you got uh, rattles, you know, from the sky, the mountain, the land, the sea. You know, people always talk about the four directions, you know, the four colors, you know, of white, black, yellow, and red, you know, and the four directions. And, you know, that's the uh, all keys to and how you want to do things and uh, how you want to design and the use of color. But I say, but you know, it's when you think about what we're just a very small piece, you know, how hope to us. It's just a piece, a very small piece of knowledge. But when we look at your chest there, that's where everything comes from. So we just want to open that a little bit just to show every now and then. I think that's the only way that we can put this back into circulation is if we give them the whole loaf, they're going to forget. We got to give them a piece at a time. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, uh, you, know, uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I think this whole process is about program programs. The whole language is, is a big program now, you know. For us, Heshwood, we got two speakers, Leila, you know, and Josh has become part of Linus's family. So, so we got two good speakers now that can, can converse, you know, with, uh, you know, with the elders. So that's that's where we want to go with his art. The two have to be just together, you know, in order to, uh, in order to, uh, you know, uh, go uh, go out and. Uh, you know, if you hear that river and it's inviting you and calling you, you know, you got to understand that, you know, you got to reciprocate, you know, it's, uh, everything is, 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 uh, is alive, everything has a spirit, you know, in, in where we look at nature, you know, that rock outside, you know, is very, very much alive to us, you know, as a, it's living, that river is living, that ocean, and it's, and, and, the world and you know uh, us included we're killing that ocean the estuaries you know so we need to uh, we need to uh, put our your uh, your efforts to uh, producing something that'll uh, give a better understanding of uh, how uh, how we used to do things you know it was uh, just uh, you uh, let's not overtake, and uh, nature gives you anything that you need. You know, it'll give you what you uh, what you ask for. But you know, there's no sense in overtaking because uh, we'll never be able to repair it or replace it. You know, I think that's the, that's the, that's where part of the art has to go. Mm -hmm. You know, to make those statements of uh, you know, it's uh, let's uh, look at. Uh, What's wrong? You know, you know. Let's let's look at what uh, you know. Uh, what isn't right? You know. I, you know. I think that's uh, you know that's who we are as artists today. And the young people have to take that. And the young people will younger younger artists need to uh, understand that that's uh, you know it's a, it's a position that they they, they need to uh, take uh, and understand that it's very very serious. You know that. Uh, you know, it's up to you as the younger artist to define, you know, what, uh, what is necessary to bring out and what, uh, you know, how we can use it, you know. It's the, uh, you, know, I, you know, I think if we, uh, if we just look at that ocean for one thing, I, I mean, is it still there? Is, uh, you know, uh, when we look out, it's to the middle of the ocean, you know, the uh, the drop off, the lands beyond, you know, 
you know, it's some some places are so messed up, you know, that uh, there's no life in some of those estuaries because of uh, you know uh, things that were dropped and put there, you know. So uh, so we need to sort of you know look at uh, you know uh, doing something to address that, and artists can bring forward you know you know uh, statements you know with their art. You know, I think that's that's. Uh, you know, a lot of the younger artists have more energy than I do now anyway, so, you know, that's the, uh, I mean, I don't even go up the hills anymore. <laughs> I'll go a little bit, but, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, if they didn't lock the gates, you know, on those logging roads, I'd still go up, but uh, pretty well everything is locked now. Yeah. You know, yeah. One, one question that I just remembered, um, I remember, I, I don't know if you remember this, but I, I ran into you in town, this was years ago, before I started wood carving. And I brought to you, uh, I had three designs, they were all bracelet designs. And uh, I was just, I was really, really struggling still. And uh, just starting, and, and the one thing that really helped, and it was as simple as you saying, open it up in a sense of the design. You, you said, don't try and fill everything, just yeah. open it up. Um, and it made me look at yours, um, some of your, your, your designs and your pieces, and I think I share this with you, like one of your, one of your prints is one of my favorite ones of uh, that uh, teeth skin, uh, coming from that other dimension. Oh, it's yeah. diagonaled. Yeah. And it almost looks like, to me, it looks like from that other dimension or, or if uh, someone was to look at it, that just seen it, it was like, almost like petroglyph mm. um, design with, and then a portion of it in color. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's one of my favorites still. Mm. Um, with, with many others, there's another one that's uh, one of your masks. And it, the mask itself is probably about, it's probably about this high. But it was this so, so, sh so there wasn't a whole lot of depth. It was like 21 or 22 inches high, and it was like proportioned this way and this way, and and until the photograph, because I didn't get to see it firsthand, mm -hmm. but the spear wrestler back in the day took a photo of it, the depth of it. It was so shallow that I just, you know, that's still one of my favorites, and it's. I want to say it's the mountain chief, maybe. It had a couple of teeth skin, I think, or sequitin, a couple of sequitin on there, and the mountain on the top of the head, the forehead. But it was so, it was only like four and a quarter inches deep or something, or three and three quarter. It was really shallow, but it was a bigger mask. Yeah. But you look at it face on, and just that you playing with those angles mm. um, made it look proportional still. Like it didn't look like it was a, a thin, a narrow, flatter face. It was looked proportional, so I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah, yeah the, um, Thunderbird was the Tikshitli, it showed itself. Mm. Yeah, so that's the... Uh, and uh, I know... When I was still in Victoria, I know that uh, what I used to do was uh, under raven masks or under, you know, headdresses, I'd do little faces and uh, you, uh, some of the uh, peers and artists that I worked in around, you, said, uh, you know, it was, it was unbelievable to them that, you know, you can do a face under that. You're going to do a face under that? Yeah, yeah. And it's just spreading things out and just, you know, look, look at, uh, look at, you know, uh, you uh, laying it in, you know, let's see. Uh, that's where artists have to get a hold of themselves, you know, uh, and uh, make it your own, develop your own style, mm -hmm. develop your, your, your own design, you know, I think that's, that's really key. You know. You got to understand design. They, uh, they have to understand design. You know, it's just uh, you know. Uh, then you can proportion everything out. You know, let's see, lay it out. Yeah. Because um, I remember when we were 
again, we're working on the polls up at the market. And he said, oh, we got a lot of material there. He says, you were just, I was just starting to open my eyes with what you were, you were showing us. And uh, you, you go, oh, and you drew this line that we had to shave. Uh, I think it was, uh, I think it might have been the Sikhwetan on the, you know, the uh, Tietzkin on top. Mm. And we sh I shaved it. You said you did a line and I chainsawed it off. Mm. And I went to hand the marker to you. And you were busy working on designing on something else, and you said, "You do it." And I was just like, you know, I was, you know, it's a 25, 20, 25 foot pole, and I was just like, I'm like, wow, you know, I felt totally out of my element, and you were just like, just make it yours. You make it your. It's going to be your hand, you know. And and that was, you just kind of reminded me to to enjoy and, and learn and run with it. So we want to make people happy and make people feel good as artists. That's, uh, that's our job. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. enough for me. Yeah. Okay. Cool.